about the suspect accused in the death of a beloved local journalist. Jorge Sanchez Martinez is undocumented and now considered a flight risk. He's the man accused of plowing into the back of Mark Dean as he was driving a motorcycle across the Crescent City Connection last week. WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm has been sifting through new documents uncovered in this case and tells us why the judge did not allow bond today. Cassie. Well, the judge says she normally doesn't like to hold anyone without a bond, but she says because the fact that a visa was already denied for him and ICE is trying to put a hold on him right now, she believes he could be a flight risk, and she says that's why she made that decision. Now, a little bit more information into that man. Now, Jorge Sanchez Martinez, he's currently being charged with negligent homicide, reckless operation of a vehicle, and not being licensed to drive. Now, district attorney's office says Sanchez applied for a visitor visa in 2019 and was denied. He then later came into the state undocumented and he has no driver's license. Now court documents state that Sanchez Martinez was driving on the Crescent City Connection Bridge at an unknown speed when he reached down to grab a cup of coffee and by the time he looked up his car hit the back of the motorcycle driven by 48 year old Mark Dean. Now according to Sanchez Martinez after the initial impact he attempted to brake abruptly but was unable to avoid hitting Dean a second time. Sanchez Martinez then hit another car. Now, his attorney tells us this is not negligent homicide, and they're hoping to change this. Very early on, we certainly plan to, to revisit this. Um, you know, this is we, we need to have some time to do a little bit more uh, research ourselves, um, and you know, hopefully we can come back and, and get a bond set. You know, we understand that the judge is concerned. I think she's being um, you know very cautious in this typical you know in this situation. I guess atypical situation, um, but you know, moving forward, we do plan to revisit it. Now, this is just the beginning of this case. There's going to be many more hearings to come. So we'll be giving you guys the latest information here on air and online at WDSU.com. Reporting here in New Orleans, I'm Cassie Sherm, WDSU Investigates. And Attorney General Liz Merle just releasing a statement saying, quote, heartbreaking. The person responsible for this horrific crash, 29-year-old Jorge Martinez Sanchez, is an illegal alien. Our office is prosecuting this case and has secured detention without bond. She goes on to say, I'm praying for the family, friends, and co-workers of Mark Dean.